This is Matt from Matt's Mission Marine. We had a little bit of trouble with the audio out on the lake, but we got some great content and I wanted to go ahead and put it together for you guys. So you may need to turn up the volume or even put the closed captions on, but enjoy today's video. Hello, welcome to Matt's Mission Marine, your home for my take on boats, waterways, and some interesting conversations with the boating community along the way. Let's strap on those life vests and get going. Today, we're going to be talking to a special member of the boating community, my dad. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button.
found some of their friends who had a tough time in carbon fishing. And that, that was really fun and exciting. We went out and fished under the Southern Mile Bridge. Caught some really nice fish. Saw some water spouts out in the ocean. We just had, had a lot of time, a lot of good time. And my sons caught a little turpin on a fly rod. And we caught it for about two and a half hours, which was really, really nice and exciting. Took, took the 1966 Thunderbird down there and we fished out of it. Uh, like I said, it's been, a, it's been around the block a few times. And we always have a good time. And we enjoy going to Key West, going to the Outer Banks, you know, just wherever. You know, when the boys were small, we used to do a lot of, a lot of camping, get off work and we'd ride out there and pack up the tent and grab the rock and go down to Atlanta Beach. Or Go fishing. We just, we just have, have a great time. Good time. I have to say a rooster tail. Down in, in Costa Rica, I call it a rooster tail. The first time I'd ever heard of a rooster fish, but uh, well, yeah, that, was, that was extremely interesting. And they are extremely good fighting fish. And, and that was you know, really interesting. Interesting ordeal. And on that same trip, we went swimming with the, with the, uh, they call them the spinner dolphins. And there was about a thousand of those out there. And we stopped the boat and we all jumped out and, and went swimming with the dolphins for about 44 hours. So that was, that was a lot of fun. But uh, I guess probably the most interesting thing I've caught was that the morning, fishing one afternoon, one evening, and the sun was going down. A big old fish, and it turned out to be a pelican. And the sun was going down, and I couldn't, couldn't really see fighting and a hollering. I didn't know whether to bring it in or cut the line. And finally, got it in, found out I had my line when I threw it out the left side of the pelican. One of the boys brought it in, grabbed it, and he got the hook out of it and set it free, so we didn't hurt it. salmon out 
out in deep water, because the water was too shallow, and he was having trouble getting back in the water out there to look out of So anyway, he said I was going to the salmon. But then he asked me, he said, well, what was the last salmon you caught? Off on that spring, you know, about six or eight on the spring. That'd be nice. So he took the top off, and of course, it was the last one caught, and he was very much alive. And it was me, you know, jumping around, trying to get the way from him. And the ranger, he picked up the rock, and he was beating it from side to head, and he was killed him. And I'm thinking, that's not really cool to the salmon. But I think maybe I should leave well enough alone. But then, it, you know, he, he got, he had me for six different tickets. Then they got ready to leave, so it was 11 of us, and it was about 11 o'clock at night. It was, you know, getting, getting on board dark. And I asked him, I said, y'all going back to the dock? And he said, yeah. I said, do you mind if I catch a ride with you? And he said, no, that'd be fine. So, not even thinking, I just you know, got in the boat with him, and, and, and you know, started back to the dock, which was about a half mile away. And I looked, and all my friends were lined up on the side of the creek there, looking at me like they thought I had been arrested. And I, I thought so, I said, gee, maybe I should hold my hands up and wave at him, you know, and go, bye. So that was quite an experience. as I did.